Hello everyone, another little bite size video for our next painting and I'm going to, to have a look at some simple techniques for painting trees. Um, uh, it's a good idea if you've got a brush that's a bit battered and you can splay, splay the bristles out and as well as that one of these long rigger brushes for doing uh, trunks, tree trunks and branches with. Um, okay, so I'll start off with some distant trees. So if we're thinking about a scene and there's trees right in the distance, if you if you look at a scene, if you squint your eyes a little bit, um, they tend to be a little bit blue. So if I get some blue, I'm just using Windsor blue today because I'm a little bit low on supplies with the current situation so needs must so I've got Windsor blue there and a bit of uh, hooker's green into it I'll just put a bit of yellow ochre in as well trying to get back to what, what I would have done with the blue I would have used ultramarine probably so I've got a bluey green there and imagine so the far away so it's like just um, um, enough information to, to make your eye imagine that you can see those trees in the distance. You don't want to be doing too much to these. Your, your eye will read it better if you, if you sort of puts it in the distance, the less you do to it. So I'm using the texture of the paper there, so the brush is quite dry. So it's using the little bubbles on the paper to, to, to miss and skip and you get that lovely little texture going on. Good, so that'll do for some distant trees. And then for a tree that, that's closer to us, so again I'm going to use the hooker's green as a base. I'm going to add some yellow ochre in to start. It's a nice olive green. Make enough so that we can make a fairly decent sized tree. And then again I'm going to use these sort of scuffing strokes to give me the the, the texture of the leaves and the, the foliage. And as it comes down, I want to add a little bit of blue. And So I'm just putting some blue at the lower lower part and on that side, imagine the light's coming that way. And even a bit of burnt sienna as well, could whack some of that in. And what I'm conscious of now is, is doing too much because that's the key to doing trees, is just doing enough to give the impression of, of what you're after. So while that's settling, I'm going to change the brush. I'm going to get, whoops, there we go. Good catch, Tony. Um, I'm going to use this uh, the rigger brush we mentioned. I'm going to make up like a burnt sienna mix with the hooker's green. Just a bit of blue in it as well, just make it quite dark. And then from the bottom, just want to try and see if I can make some branches there. And then through the tree as well.
So it's a case of like just touching and then lifting. And again, assessing it as you go and not doing too much. Just going to swap the brush again and just going to imagine that it's casting a little bit of a shadow on the grass there. That's good. That's not bad actually, that I'm quite chuffed with that. So to bring it forward, if you were sort of completing the scene or just adding extra sort of foreground detail, you would then sort of change that green to a more of a, a yellowy, warmer colour. You can put a bit of green there. And making it brighter as it comes closer and leaving again imagining you've got a field and there's light catching the top of these these grasses mix it up a bit more more of the green in it there giving it a bit of texture Dropping some of the blue green in there, so that's wet and wet, and that'll blend and make a another colour. And if I really wanted to punch out the foreground, I could then you could get. Some, I don't want to fiddle too much because we've done now. It's 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 okay. That it's just had a bit of burnt sienna, so that's a what again a warmer still a redder, browner colour. And that will again, it will just lift it quite quite out of the paper towards your, your, your focus to give that depth and progression into your, your picture. There we go. That'll do that. It's a really quick one, that, but I'm happy with that. Stop when you're in front, I think, is the motto with this one. Good. So hopefully that will give you a little bit of tip of... of uh, how to approach and, and how much to do when you're doing your trees. Let me know how you get on.